AccuFi router, Wi-Fi antennas. You can adjust them, move them either way. Right there's your power light, Wi-Fi light. There's the transducer cable, 12 volts. There's two mounting holes on each side of the router. And you just have a positive negative. You do not need a fuse. It's got its own, uh, everything inside is built in. Don't have to do that. AccuFi transducer mounted on the Frantic Fishing Products boat brakes. I've got it running parallel with the boat. So it should be perfectly straight with the bow of the boat. All I did is took the transducer cable and ran it in, ran it right through here, and then it goes right in there. And it's in the compartment here. Then I've just got it temporarily um, set up so we can try it out and do some testing on the water. Just wanted to show you how simple it is. Connect with the router just like any other Wi-Fi using your iPad or iPhone with an app. Forward facing sonar, three views, forward view, down view, perspective view. We are gonna try it out on the water today. See how it does. All right, guys, we're out here on the water with the AccuFi live sonar. I've got the router setting out here on the back deck so you can see how it works the router can actually be mounted inside the rod box it doesn't have to be out in the open i haven't seen a difference between if it's inside the rod box or out as far as any kind of distance i have plenty of range to walk around the boat with my ipad the transducer is mounted on my frantic fishing products crappie brakes i've got the transducer aimed under the boat perfectly straight facing the bow of the boat i'm gonna go ahead and give you a recorded screen of the ipad and show you what the transducer looks like we're going to look at a brush pile so the first 20 24 feet roughly that you see on the forward view is gonna be, we're, on, we're under the boat. So the brush pile is gonna be setting right on the bow of the boat. And we'll let you see what that looks like. All right, there's our brush pile. We have the sonar set at 60 feet forward. We've got 78% gain. We'll go to options. I've got color gain set at 20%. I've got noise reject at 10%. I've got the color set to yellow. And I believe I had, there's our range lines. We'll turn those on. Now it's windy out here. You're gonna pick up a lot of wind noise. Nothing I can really do about that. I wanted to show you what it looked like. Now that's the yellow color. That's what they call yellow. There's blue. There's green. Purple. That's a pretty good color. There's red. And there's rainbow, which you're, you're pretty familiar with that color. That's a lot of people use that blue on the Garmin. So if we'll go back, I'm gonna go back to yellow. 
where the boat is and the brush pile, the first 20, we're looking under the boat. Just so you know, the transducer is facing the bow. It's mounted at the stern, and I've got it as straight as I could mount it where it points directly under the boat so we could get a uh, good picture. So with my crappie brakes, they go down pretty good ways under the water. So that gets that transducer out to where we're not picking up any of the boat. We'll get us a rod out. Cast right in front of the boat. There we are falling at 30. So you can see my jig. I'm, gonna j I'm jigging it up and down. Now I'm gonna say, there is literally no lag. With this being wireless, there is no lag. So when I'm moving my rod up and down, literally no lag. And you can see there's some fish on that brush pile. cast again see we're falling at 30 we'll just work it work our jig right over to the top of that brush pile so just so you know that brush pile is right under the bow of the boat so when I see I'm casting out to 30 I'm actually casting out to like four foot because we have to subtract the boat length the way I have the transducer mounted. Let's try it again. There we are falling. Right on top of that brush pile. Drop down in there a little bit. See if we can get in there without getting hung up. Ooh, I got it. Got us a fish. Got us a fish. All right. Let's see. I know you guys can't see it because I'm recording the screen. I'll let the fish down in front of the boat see if we can see it see it swimming back down it's swimming down it's going out to 30 foot it's going down you're gonna hear wind noise it's windy we've got 20 mile an hour wind gust out here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cast out see my jigs at 30 I'm gonna hang right above the top of that brush pile. I see some fish in there, some smaller ones. See, there he is, there's one right there. All right. We got one. I know you guys can't see it because I'm recording the actual screen of the iPad. him in front see if we can watch him go back down to the brush pile I'm gonna throw him right back in there there he goes down see him down there at 30 he's going he's just kind of like hanging there he is he's going right back down in the brush pile you can see him about 25 foot he's still swimming down in there now take in mind we are shooting the transducer under the boat. So it's going completely under the boat, 24 feet from where it is, and facing the bow of the boat. So when I cast out to 30 feet, I'm really only casting about five foot out because I'm standing on the bow of the boat. We gotta sub subtract the boat from the transducer. We're dropping down at 30, guys. 
Okay, now I'm going to come right at the edge of that brush pile. Uh, you see them all there congregated there? I'm going to move my jig up and down. Right in there. Just had a bite. Got him. All right. Let's turn that fish loose there and see if we can see him go down. There he goes. See him going down. cast right back out there again right about 32 foot we're falling right to edge on the other back side of that brush pile here he comes see him watch there he is there he is all right That's a nice one too, guys. I wish you could see it. I should have turned the rear camera on, but I just wanted to really show you what the, uh, I'm gonna turn this fish loose. See if we can watch him go down. There he goes. He's swimming back down. It's taking a little bit. He's only about four foot deep now. He's going down. All right, I got the chest camera on now, guys. All right, we're going to cast out to that 30 foot. I see a bunch of them out there. We're right there. See our jig going up and down right there? Ah, missed it. There he is. There he is. Got him. That's that AccuFi, man. You can go anywhere, or, I mean, go anywhere on the boat wireless with that router. At least we're able to get one on camera so I can show you. Little one. <laughs> 